are you, clown? We're friends of Dexter Deshawn. He's expecting us. Yo, Dex. Got two live ones saying they're here to see you. Yeah? All right, then. Says he needs a second or two. Go get yourselves drinks or something. Way ahead of you, viejo. Joy the Night City. Right there. Beating. Hear it? Can you imagine? Susan hey. Forrest. Boy, boy. Grab a seat. Big Big in a sec. Morgan Blackhand. All set on those stools. Fellas, looks like we're up. Hey, you see that old lady there? That's Rogue. Best fixer in all the Night City. Thought Dex was the best. <laughs> Rogue was lining up jobs when Dex was still shitting in diapers. <laughs> Place belongs to her. What can I get you? You order. Two tequila old fashions with a splash of cerveza and a chili garnish. You will have Johnny Silverhands coming up. Right on, chica. Somebody did their homework. Looks like the dog ate mine. Age old tradition. Drinks are named after our regulars. Say I wanted a drink named after me. What would I have to do? Snuff it. Mind blowingly spectacular fashion. Mid off would be best. Ah, what a beautiful tradition. Deep price to pay for a drink. Hey, everyone's gotta go sometime, right? Why not in style? To being filthy rich. Filthy rich legends. Oh, and by the way, name's Jackie Wells. You wanna write down my recipe? Hmm, sure. Shot of vodka on the rocks, lime juice, ginger beer, oh, and most importantly, a splash of love. Ha <laughs> ha! I'll remember that. Heard you were Dex's latest finds. Just biz, no big deal. Mr. Deshaun, see you now. Dex a regular. You come here a lot. A sort of long hiatus, matter of fact. Didn't show his face for nearly two years. Tomcat's gotta walk his own path, right? Yeah, well, wherever he walked, he knocked a few pounds off. Guess they weren't delivering that pizza I mentioned before. How do you know? My job to know. Look around. How do you think mercs earn their reps? Through gossip rivaling that of schoolgirls, that's how. Break a leg. Thanks. This way. Same here. No, in the rain. You do some kind of exotic shit? Huh? Kempo? Ninjutsu? Mm. Think you could take me? Drop me? In here. Este pinche tipo. That's right, Excelsior. Cold hard eddies as per usual. Gotta bounce. Well, if it ain't Mr. V. Whole family in one place. Ha! Finally! First time in real space. And the flathead. Let's see this bad boy. Alright then. Set your butts down comfy. Thanks for your help back at the scav haunt. A few reapers less in the city. Good thing. <laughs> city Hall should be fucking thanking us. Sweet booth. It's soundproof? 
Jackie. Now, now, Mr. Wells is right. We're gonna be going over some sensitive material. But if it's all right with y'all, I'd like to start with a question for Mr. V. Evelyn Parker, how'd you fare? Well, as I could have, I guess. Walked around Compeki Plaza inside from that raw BD she scrolled. Mm-hmm. Bug already filled me in. So you know the target? Yorinobu Arisaka, the Emperor's son and heir apparent. Mm-hmm. Man with the millionaire name and no talent to back it up. Evelyn Parker's special friend? So she just want to see what's good, or was there something else? I think she just wanted to see what I was about. Wanted to see what you was about, huh? How about we go over the plan? What you got for us, Dex? This. Well, here goes nothing. Me and Dex have already covered the fine deeds. Ops-wise, should be a stroll on the beach. Elaborate. I want to hear it. A Delamain will drop your asses at the front door of Kentucky Plaza. You'll stroll right in thanks to your false identities. Then, with Bug's help, you'll breach the hotel subnet. Mine and the Flathead's help. Last but not least, you slip into Yorinobu's penthouse and clep the relic. Goes without saying, we do this on the hush. Ideally, no bodies. Not a one. You'll have T-Bug on comms for the duration. Time for your burning questions. Transports a Delamine. Primus Cab Company in all night city. Not a man. Deshaun don't ever work with anyone but the best. I consider Delamine just that. Yeah, who needs creepy, nosy cab drivers when you've got a clean AI to get you from point A to B in style? And how he bags a permit to operate every year is still a mystery. If everything goes as planned, Delamain will drop you back here. If things get sticky, you head for the safe house. Which is? The Notel Motel. Quiet, no questions asked. Make our next move from there. But I'm flat certain that won't be necessary. Anything else? These new identities. Tell us more. What's our cover? Hello, Ramon Victorino. And you're Harry Conwell. Ramon? Yeah, okay. What do we say we're there for? Biz as usual. Corpo arms deal. In case anyone asks, you there for a bogus meeting with our Osaka's defense rep, Hajime Taki. Anything else? How do we get in the penthouse? Yarnobu's got barely any muscle. Hardest part will be penthouse security. If we want to disable, we'll need to neutralize Kompeki's dweller. Elite Runner monitoring the hotel subnet 24-7. Only catch is there's no way to get in the Dweller's Den from the outside. Now hold on. How you want us to get inside a room you can't get into? Trust me when I say whatever hit you think of, T-Bug solved it already. This is where the Flathead comes in. You'll have to get him in the ventilation shaft, guide him to the Dweller, and force the Dweller to... take a break. Flathead will stay there, jacked into the Dweller. But thanks to that, I'll be able to roll out your red carpet into the penthouse. Anything else? Okay, feel brought up to speed. Perfect. I got a question. When do we get to the real reason we're all here? Cut for fresh talent's always the same, non-negotiable. 30%. Bro, 30? Every part in this drama carries its risks. That's the value of yours, as determined by me. Come on, Dex. Isn't that a little low? Hey, hold on, Holmes. Who got the flathead? Who pulled the intel from the brain dance? And we're going in a hotel full of soccer men to swipe some fucking toy from the boss's son. We are the job. Hmm. And who's providing transport? A top-tier net runner and a lead-proof plan and intel? You sure you want to go down this road?
Jack's right, Dex. We ought to get more than 30. We deserve more. Fine. 35. And that's my final offer. I can live with that. It's my final offer, too. Hmm. Been a while since I got a run for my eddies. They're actually kind of fun. Last thing. Kopecky's got a strict no-iron policy. The security gates. The works. So you dogs will leave your lead spitters in the ride. Take the flathead inside in its case. Got some deft suits, so you'll look the part, too. Gee, oh. Thanks, T. So, not to count chickens, but why don't we see our eddies? All depends how Miss Parker avails herself of her role. But a week, two tops, to my guess. And what do we do while we sit around, suck air? You sit tight, heads down, because old Uncle Arasaka be watching. Now, as that old Greek dog says, life's a banquet. So don't go thirsty, but don't get drunk either. Your chariot awaits outside. My cue to Delta Two. Got to prep to jack in. Be there when you come on comms. Any other issues? Now's your chance. Plan. What's your take? Enough, I hope, to put me in a luxury Cretan villa from which I'll never set foot in cyberspace again. Promise to send me a postcard. No offense, but I'm gonna burn any and all bridges. Need a clean break. You and Dex know each other a while. Um, why? Uh, you know, people say all kinds of things. Everything we hear is an opinion, not a fact. Marcus Aurelius, I think. <laughs> you and Dex both philosophize in it. No wonder you get along. I'm good, no questions. Let's get to work. Are you ready to get going or what? Let's roll. No point in waiting. In getting rich, you mean?